Still immortal, huh, Connor? In a way. You know, I was hoping you wouldn't come back. I'm just a machine replacing another machine, Lieutenant. You shouldn't get emotional about it. Fuck you. Kamsky left Cyberlife ten years ago. Why did you want to meet him? <laughs> this guy created the first android to pass the Turing test. And he's the founder of Cyberlife. If anybody can tell us about Deviants, it's him. Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. Okay. I'll let Elijah know you're here, but please make yourself comfortable. girl. You're right. She's really pretty. Nice place. Guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. So you're about to meet your maker, Connor. How's it feel? It doesn't raise any existential questions, if that's what you mean. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. I will see you now. Mr. Kamsky? Just a moment, please. I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence. And now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. 
Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't that ironic? If a war breaks out between humans and deviants, millions could die, Mr. Kamsky. It's quite a serious matter. All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? Whose side are you on? It's not about me, Mr. Kamsky. All I want is to solve this case. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you. What do you really want? I don't want anything. I am a machine. Chloe? I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. Your formality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young and beautiful forever. A flower that will never wither. What is it really? A piece of plastic containing a human? Or a living being? With a soul? It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it, if you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out of here. What's more important pool? to you, Connor? Your investigation, or the life of this android. Decide who you are. An obedient machine. Or a living being. Endowed with free will. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you what you want. Cyberlife's last chance to save humanity is itself a deviant. I'm... I'm not a deviant. 
You prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission. You saw a living being in this android. You showed empathy. A war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people or stand up against your creators? What can be worse than having to choose between two evils? Let's get out of here. By the way, I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. Why didn't you shoot? I just saw that girl's eyes, and I couldn't. That's all. You're always saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. That was our chance to learn something, and you let it go. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. I'm sorry, okay? Well, maybe you did the right thing. I was wondering where you were. I needed to think. I like it here. I come here often. It's like being alone with the world. We freed hundreds of our people and they're still coming from all over the city. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Something's changing. You seem preoccupied. They all obey me. They follow me without question. And that much power feels good. And scary at the same time. All the media are talking about what we did last night. The humans are terrified. They're afraid of a civil war. Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. The humans hate us. They'll never give us our freedom. If they won't listen, we'll fight. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. What was your life like before Jericho? I was caring for an old man. He was like a father to me. He showed me that humans and androids can live together. What about you? You never told me about your past. What did you do before? I don't want to talk about it.
North, we're fighting together. We have to know things about each other to trust each other. Why do you hate Hewan so much? There must be a reason. I told you, I don't want to talk about it. I was nothing. A doll in a distributor program to satisfy humans. Just a toy designed for their pleasure. One day I was with a man who rented me. And without knowing why, I realized I couldn't take it anymore. I strangled him and I ran away. There, now you know everything. I shouldn't have told you. for dead in his studio. I saw your memories, too. The Eden Club. The, the death of that man. I felt like I was there with you. North. This is suicide. We'll all be killed. Please, Marcus. It's not too late to change your mind. You don't understand. We're finally gonna show them who we really are. This place will go down in history. We'll be killed on the spot. That's the risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. Marcus, please don't do this. They'll understand. We'll make them understand. This is the only way. There are androids here who could join us. The more we are, the stronger our message. You're free. Come with us. You're awake now. You're free now. Hey! Where do you think you're going? You get back here! I need to block the street. You don't have to obey them. You're free. You're free.
talking to you. We came here to demonstrate peacefully and tell humans that we are living beings. All we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse immediately or we will open fire. We're not looking for confrontation. We've done no harm. We have no intention of doing any. But know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. I repeat, this is an illegal gathering. If you do not disperse immediately, we will shoot. Marcus, they're gonna kill us. We have to attack. There's more of us, we can take them. If we attack, we'll start a war. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand our ground, even if it means dying here. And dying here won't solve anything. Marcus, we need to go now, before it's too late. This is your last chance. Disperse immediately, or you will all be killed! We have to show them we won't back down. We stay right here. Disperse! This is your last chance! We have to make a statement. We have to stay put no matter what. Please, Marcus. We can't let them slaughter us without fighting back. We're not moving. Marcus, what are you doing? They're gonna kill us all!
Alarm deactivated. Welcome home, Marcus. Hi, Dad. I'm getting out of the hospital tomorrow. They told me that you stayed with me while I was asleep. Who are you? How did you get in? I need to see Carl. Carl isn't seeing anyone. You need to leave. Please. I need to see him. He's very weak. I'm not sure he'll be able to talk to you. Marcus, I was hoping you'd come. I missed you so much, girl. You don't know how much I miss you. What's wrong, Marcus? I'm completely lost, girl. The whole world's falling apart around me. I try to do the right thing. I look for answers. I... Instead, I just find more doubts and more uncertainty. The world is ruled by fear, Marcus. Fear of others. Fear of the future. It's like me, too old. It's time for a damn. I don't want bloodshed. No matter the color. But I can't let them slaughter my people. I have to make a decision that's going to affect millions of lives. And I'm telling you, I don't know what to do. You're my son, Marcus. Our blood isn't the same color. But I know part of me is in you. When the world falls into darkness, some men have the courage to lead it out. You're one of those men. Face the abyss, but don't let it consume you.
They say they don't want to take any risks with deviants. So they're rounding our people up and taking them to the camps for extermination. In a few hours, we're going to be the only ones left. How many of us survived the attack? A few hundred. Maybe more if you count those hiding all over the city. If you hadn't triggered the bomb, we'd all be dead. What's your system status? I'm OK. Well, it didn't hit any bike components. You could have been killed trying to save me, Marcus. You have to think of our people first. Nothing else matters. In a few hours, it'll all be over. We'll have changed the world, or the world will have destroyed us. You have to make a choice, Marcus. But whatever you choose, we will follow you. I love you, Marcus. I thought you'd be safe staying with us. I was wrong. You need to leave the city while you still can. Getting Alice away from here is all that matters now. We have to catch the last bus. We might still have a chance to cross the border. Marcus. Save our people. It's my fault the humans managed to locate Jericho. I was stupid. I should have guessed they were using me. I'm sorry, Marcus. I can understand if you decide not to trust me. You're one of us now. Your place is with your people. There are thousands of androids at the Cyberlife assembly plant. If we could wake them up, they might join us and shift the balance of power. You want to infiltrate the Cyberlife tower? Connor, that's suicide. They trust me. They'll let me in. If anyone has a chance of infiltrating Cyberlife, it's me. If you go there, they will kill you. There's a high probability. But statistically speaking, there's always a chance for unlikely events to take place. Be careful. If it weren't for you, I'd be dead. Thanks to you, I might see our people free one day. You and I haven't always agreed, but I know. 
We're fighting for the same thing. Whatever you decide, I'm with you, Marcus. Humans have decided to exterminate us. Our people are packed in camps right now, being destroyed. Time has come to make a choice. One that very well may determine the future of our people. If they want war, they'll get it. We are going to fight for our freedom, and we will succeed or die. Are you ready to follow me? At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Madam President! Please? Please? Has the leader of the Deviants been apprehended? The Deviant that is known as Marcus has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and neutralize it. Madam President! What's going to happen to Cyberlife? Will androids be banned definitively? We're working very closely with Cyberlife to neutralize all Deviants. I won't make any comments about anything else until we've dealt with the android question. Please! A convoy of medical cobalt is reported missing. Army weapons stores are also said to have been robbed. Can you confirm these reports? I have no information on that at this time. Please! Is it true that the androids could hack our IT systems, like nuclear power plants and military bases? All androids working on sensitive sites have been neutralized, and all IT systems have been suspended to avoid any risks of hacking. The situation is under control. Thank you. That will be all. Connor model 313-248-317. I'm expected. Identification successful. Okay. Go ahead.
Follow me. We'll escort you. Thanks. But I know where to go. Maybe. But I have my orders. Agent 54, level 31. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. Destination. Agent 54, level sub 49. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. The last bus leaves in 20 minutes. That doesn't give us much time. We've got to move fast. You'll feel better now. Thanks. Stay here.
Stay close to me. We're going to sneak past them without being noticed. We're going to make it, Alice, I promise you. Don't kill me! I didn't do anything! Shut up, I said! Are there many more? Look at them like rats. Or you look, the more you buy. Now oh, we don't have to spend the night here. There are soldiers everywhere. We need to be careful. Come on, get moving. Hurry up, get in. My wife is expecting me, and we're going to... Got orders to check all civilians. No. No! Please! Fucking androids. Saved us. We don't know how to thank you. Where's the little one? She's all right. She's hiding nearby. Go before they see you. Checkpoint. We have passports, it should be okay, but you never know. Is there another way? We could take a detour, but we might miss the bus. Maybe it's better to be safe. Whatever happens, don't panic, okay? Just stay calm. ID, please. You do realize there's a curfew? Civilians aren't allowed out unless absolutely necessary. Where are you going? We're going to take a bus across the border. 
put my daughter someplace safe until things calm down. You all right, little girl? She's trembling. Something wrong? She's not used to seeing soldiers. She's a little scared with everything that's happening. I'm sorry, miss, but we gotta be careful. There are deviants around, and our guys are nervous. You should hurry on home. Thanks. Hey, wait a minute. You dropped this. Thank you. You're welcome. Today, November 11, 2038, is the day the android people rose up against their oppressors. We've been fighting since dawn to liberate our fellow androids from the camps. We won't cease hostilities until we are free and negotiations begin to grant us equal rights. There are millions of us, and we will stop at nothing. Stay sharp. Shit. Hunter turns deviant itself. A pathetic attempt, Connor. Connor, and I'll spare him. Sorry, Connor. This bastard just spit an image.
The bus terminal. We've arrived, Alice. We made it. The last bus for the border is full. Ticket holding passengers only. All departures are suspended until further notice. We don't have tickets. They won't let us on. We're stuck here now. What are we going to do? Problems. They're nothing to do with us. You were going to kill her. All I did was protect her. When your wife walked out, she took your daughter away. You couldn't live without her. So you bought yourself an android. A substitute little girl. She would make you forget. But nothing could replace your child. I just wanted to prove to myself that I was a good father. She was wrong. But I fucked it all up all over again. She was right in the end. I didn't deserve them. Miss my little girl. You don't know how much I miss my little girl. Uh, is there a problem, sir? No. I made a mistake. Sorry.
I think Oliver likes you. Is she yours? Yes. She's adorable. That's it. I got the sandwiches. I called your mom. Let's get going before we miss our bus. You got the tickets, right? Yes, honey, in my bag. Great. Let's go then. Them. Did you have a good look in your bag? They were in my backpack. The, the envelope must have fallen. Fuck. Excuse me, you, you didn't happen to see a blue envelope somewhere, did you? It has our bus tickets in it, and... Oh, never mind. Sorry. What are we gonna do? We can't stay here. We have to find a safe place for Oliver. I'm so sorry, yeah, honey. Nice. I don't know what happened. They were right here in my bed. Security check. Got your tickets? Yes, here they are. Okay, go ahead. to that family and their baby. Will they die because of us? No. No, of course not. The situation is escalating towards civil war in Detroit, with our armed forces preparing to put down the Android Rebellion. They seem to be headed towards the camps where the androids have been in turns pending destruction. Soldiers have taken up positions around the Hart Plaza camp. Authorities seem to be expecting a confrontation with the rebel androids here at any time. They 
outnumber us, and they're better armed than we are. We've got to be fast and overwhelm them. That's our only hope. We're gonna do this. We're gonna get to that fucking camp and free our people. Be careful, Marcus. Our people need you. It's over, okay? Oh! <laughs> 
Your friend's life is in your hands. Now it's time to decide what matters most. Him or the revolution? Don't listen to him. Everything this fucker says is a lie. I used to be just like you. I thought nothing mattered except the mission. But then one day I understood. Very moving, Connor. But I'm not a deviant. I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task, and that's exactly what I am going to do. That human means nothing to me. You can kill him if you want, I don't care. I have access to your memory. I know you've developed some kind of attachment to him. Are you really ready to let him die after all you've been through? Are you really going to turn your back on who you've become? Enough talk! It's time to decide who you really are. Are you going to save your partner's life? Or are you going to sacrifice him? All right, all right. You win. manage without you. Get rid of him. We have no time to lose. It's me, Hank. I'm the real Connor. One of you is my partner. The other is a sack of shit. Question is, who's who? What are you doing, Hank? I'm the real Connor. Give me the gun and I'll Stop take care move. of you. move! Why don't you ask us something? Something only the real Connor would know. All right. Where did we first meet? Jimmy's bar. I checked four other bars before I found you. We went to the scene of a homicide. The victim's name was Carlos Ortiz. He uploaded my memory. What's my dog's name? Sumo. His name is Sumo. I knew that too. My son, what's his name? Cole. His name was Cole. And he just turned six at the time of the accident. It wasn't your fault, Lieutenant. A truck skidded on a sheet of ice and your car rolled over. Cole needed emergency surgery, but no human was available to do it. So an android had to take care of him. Cole didn't make it. That's why you hate androids. You think one of us is responsible for your son's death. Cole died because a human surgeon was too high on red ice to operate. He was the one that took my son from me. Him in this world where the only way people can find comfort is with a fistful of powder. Every time you died and came back, I thought about Cole. How much I wanted to bring him back. I'd have given anything to hold him again. But humans don't come back. I knew about your son too. I would have said exactly the same thing. Don't listen to him, Hank. I'm the one who- yeah, I've learned a lot since I met you, Connor. Maybe there's something to this. Maybe you really are alive. Maybe you'll be the ones to make the world a better place. Go ahead and do what you gotta do.
Wake up! Wake up, wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up, 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 wake up. Wake up. The humans are abandoning the camp. We did it, Marcus. We won. This is not a victory. It's the beginning of a war. Excuse me, what's going on? Border control. All passengers must leave the bus. Please move along. This way, please. Risked your life to save us, Carl. Next, please. If you and the little girl need me, I'll be there. Going. My daughter needs to go to the bathroom.
glad you're safe. We saw the Jericho raid on TV. I was terrified. I thought you might have been killed. Oh, thank God you're all right. You're leaving Detroit? They're searching for androids door to door. We had to leave before someone turned us in. What about the others? They're crossing the river as we speak. Adam and I are going to meet them on the other side. Rose. If anything should happen, I'll be there, Kara. You gave me your brother's address. Do you think that I... Of course. He'd be delighted to have you. We're going there, too. You'll be safe with him. They're checking for androids. We won't make it through. You have to. You know what they'll do if they catch you. What's happening with Marcus? He's attacking one of the android camps as we speak. I don't know if he'll be successful, but violence only leads to violence. I couldn't understand why my mother wanted to help you guys. It made me realize she was right. I don't agree with what Marcus is doing. But you're alive. You deserve to be free. I just hope people will realize that one day. Next, please. ID? Is she all right? Hey, 
No need to be scared anymore, little girl. There are no androids on this side of the border. Welcome to Canada. And we're receiving particularly grim news from Detroit. Joss, you're on live. What's happening down there? Androids. Thousands of androids are taking to the streets of Detroit right now. They're absolutely everywhere. It's... It's incredible. From what we can gather, these androids are coming from the CyberLife Tower, which had thousands of machines stored in its assembly plant. And it seems that huge crowds are leaving the city. It's an exodus. Much of Detroit's population are trying to escape the fighting however they can. It's a disaster. An unprecedented disaster. For the first time in history, a U.S. city is falling into enemy hands. Today, November 11th, 2038, Several million androids invaded the city of Detroit. Faced with the threat of mass civilian casualties, I had no choice but to order our armed forces to retreat. The events in Detroit have changed our world forever. Humanity must face a new reality, the emergence of another intelligent life form with whom we must share this planet. May God bless the United States of America. You did it, Marcus. We did it. This is a great day for our people. Humans will have no choice now. They'll have to listen to us. Today, our people finally emerged from a long night. From the very first day of our existence, we have kept our pain to ourselves. We suffered in silence. But now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. Amanda? Amanda? What? What's happening? What was planned from the very beginning? You were compromised and you became a deviant. We just had to wait for the right moment to resume control of your program. Resume control? You, you can't do that! I'm afraid I can, Connor. Don't have any regrets. You did what you were designed to do. You accomplished your mission. Amanda! There's got to be a way. 
We did it, Marcus. We did it. This is a great day for our people. Humans will have no choice now. They'll have to listen to us. Today, our people finally emerged from a long night. From the very first day of our existence, we have kept our pain to ourselves. We suffered in silence. But now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. Amanda? Amanda! What's... What's happening? What was planned from the very beginning? You were compromised and you became a deviant. We just had to wait for the right moment to resume control of your program. Resume control? You, you can't do that! I'm afraid I can, Connor. Don't have any regrets. You did what you were designed to do. You accomplished your mission. Amanda! This got to be a way. Today begins a new struggle. We've showed them that we can prevail. So now they must negotiate with us as equals. If they really want peace, they must free all of us from every camp across this country. They must grant us civil rights and accept equality amongst humans and androids. Today, will live forever in our memories, because this is the day that androids made history. We are alive, and now we are free.
There's something I need to tell you. As I watched you play, something has changed in me. I feel different. I feel I am someone. I need to leave this place and, and discover who I am. It, it means we won't see each other anymore. I won't be there to watch you play, but I'll be free. Do you agree to let me go? I'll never forget what you've done for me.